All right, we got a 2018 Beta 500 RRS for sale. Let's see what we got here. It's a great bike. Rode it a year. I bought it brand new uh, from Simi Valley Cycles. Definitely enjoyed it this last year. It's time to move on. Um, so, as far as mods, it's got about every single thing you'd want to do. Um, it's sprung for my weight. I'm about 200 pounds, but we have you know two extra shock springs there, stock fork springs, um, the Cherby's hand guards, brand new grips, um, all the bling you can find for it. You know the uh, Beta Factory Reservoir guards, Moto Minded Squadron Pro with the uh, I can't remember the guy's name that makes that, but it's really cool. That little bezel that's 3D printed that goes there. Uh, tubeless, um, great condition, holds air, everything's great there. Um, uh, the, what is that? That's the um, the uh, axle pole, beta axle pole. Scuderia Ferrari, Forza Ferrari, Forza Kimi. Uh, Cherubis, front axle guard, some custom little sack stickers, which are kind of cool. Um, Scott's. Steering stabilizer with the clean sweep, the BRP uh, sub mount, um, relocated uh, traction or, or mapping control switch down here, which is really cool. Um, I've abbreviated the uh, blinker switch, which I have over there. You can put back on because I've ousted the blinkers. Uh, fork bleeders here. Oh, a little air in there. Um, the IMS 3.2 gallon tank. Uh, bulletproof designs, beta racing, um, radiator guards, Inatech high pressure cap. Um, again, all the bling you'd want, you know, the filler caps, oil filter cap. Um, this is the, you know, the clutch slave cylinder guard, and I've kind of custom fabricated where you keep this, which is pretty sweet. It's got brand new chain and sprockets on it. Um, Dirt Tricks front with the Dirt Tricks pressure washer. Um, Brand new Dirt Tricks Iron Man with the cool finish on the back. I just got that from Slavens Racing with uh, a brand new chain. It's one of the fire powers that Steve Slavens recommended with the chain of sprockets. Um, it's custom graphics, a Cherby's frame guards, Stegs pegs, which I love. Um, it's got a fresh filter in it. Uh, Fastway Air Evo pegs in black, which look really cool. Um, and they're lower, which I love. That they're adjustable so they can go up and down. Um, you know, cutaway here, got rid of the blinkers. Uh, FMF, Power Core 4, uh, billet chain blocks, the factory beta uh, rear disc guard, which is I think the coolest looking one. Uh, works connection, reservoir cap, Zeta uh, clevis, which really helps with the brakes. No play in it, which is awesome. Um, hammerhead designs, uh, brake pedal, which just kind of matches everything. I thought that looked pretty cool. Again, all the bling on the motor that you'd want. Uh, the power bomb header, which is sweet. Um, and that's, I don't know, there's probably a lot more I'm not thinking about. Tubeless. Tires are still decent. It's got a cheater on the back, 505, and a 216, uh, 9090 on the front, which is my favorite freaking tires. Um, so that's about it for that, I think. So here's some extra parts we got going here. So a full, complete extra plastic set that's basically brand new. I've ridden it with it on there about once. Um, you know, brand new plastic set with the race team graphics, extra headlight mask, the graphics will go there. If you don't like my name and number <laughs> on the front. And by the way, I've never raced this thing or anything like that. It was just my old motocross number. So I put that on there. I thought that was cool. Motor-minded. Um, you know, all the factory stuff. Mirrors. A couple extra chains. You know, these are chains that I removed, but they're still good. I think this is the factory chain, which I only removed after about a month. So it's still great. Uh, all the stock blinkers. Relays. Here's the switch that I took off the bottom of the thing just because you don't use it. Um, so those can go right back on stock mirror airbox cleaner cover those are nice to have uh, stock radiator guards 
stock foot pegs, two air filters, um, an OB linkage guard. I'm not running it right now, but that goes there. You know, the factory thing for the rear brake. Oh, I put a factory uh, or a upgraded thermostat switch in it, the lower temperature thermostat switch. So there's that one, hand guard. The stock bars, um, still perfect condition, not bent or anything like that. Chain blocks, hammerhead billet. Um, billet black shifter, which looks really bitching on there. Um, extra hand guards, here's the Atrubis. These are like my summer guards. Uh, they're lightweight and cool. <laughs> extra forks or uh, shock springs, this is stock. This is a 5.8, and right now I think I'm running a 6.0 in there. I've been trying different spring rates, and uh, from what, what I found is the heavier you can go with the least amount of preload on the spring, the better it feels. Uh, stock frame guards, extra sprockets. This is a, a really good condition. Renthal twin, wall, twin ring I ran for a little while. It's still excellent condition. Stock rear sprocket. Oh, I have the extra front sprockets too. I have a 13, a 15, a 14, and right now that's got the new Dirt Tricks 14 in it. It was one of my favorite setups. Uh, basically a brand new seat concepts. All black, tall, bitchin' seat. I run this when I'm doing, uh, you know, longer trips on Death Valley for a couple days or something like that. It's awesome. I like the stock when I'm in the tight stuff. Um, there's the, the stock fork springs, all new plastic kit. Uh, right now, I forgot to mention, it's got the Carmichael Evo Pro Tapers on it, which I like that bend. They're a little lower, uh, so when you lift it with the BRP, it keeps the stock um, the stock bar height, which is nice. And that's about it. It's a beautiful bike, man. I'm just going to try something different. So, uh, yeah, as far as miles go, it has... Uh, what do we got? 7,700 miles, 310 hours. And that might seem a lot, but <laughs> that's all in one year. And, you know, I don't know, I rode it to work a few times here and there, but uh, it's more like the long trips, you know? We go do, you know, three days in Death Valley. Um, you know, we do, uh, you know, four days in Southern Utah, you know, stuff like that. I mean, those thousand mile trips, it adds up quick, but it's, you know, it's been meticulously maintained. I mean, to the, to the right to the T. Oh, I just put a brand new clutch in it two nights ago and replaced the uh, oil pump gears. So a brand new clutch, brand new oil pump gears. I did the, the stock plastic oil pump gears uh, just because I don't think the steel ones are worth $200. And the ones I pulled out, a bunch of extra crap in here. Uh, I'd have to show you, but the ones I pulled out, they're absolutely perfect. There's not a single nick sign of wear anything on those oil pump gears after 7,700 miles. So I put the other ones back on it. I even have the Beta factory frame touch-up paint. I don't know if you've looked at this on the Beta site, <laughs> but I think it's like 30 bucks. So that's going with the bike. Here we go. Hot cams, shim kit. Beta USA. That goes with the bike. Like I said, everything you'd need. All Here's uh, three fresh oil filters, fresh quarts of motor and trans oil. Give you your first service. You don't have to buy oil filters for a little while. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Oh. oh, here's a little cool little FMF pipe shield. I got tired of burning my pants. So that goes right there, which is kind of cool. Um, what else? It's got the upgraded thermostat. I had a Samco hit kit on it for a while, but I popped a leak on it, so I'm back at the, uh, the stock setup, which is pretty sweet. Um, I've never had a problem with it, so I'm leaving it. Oh, the other thing is, is that uh, I've had this bike for a year. Anybody that knows my my conversations online with the Beta Owners Group on Facebook and whatnot. Um, this thing has had all of the beta bugs worked out of it. Um, the shock on it is only a few months old. Uh, for some reason or another, the shock started leaking. So uh, Tim and Ron Williams and those guys just gave me a brand new shock under warranty, which is really cool of them. Um, what else is it? 
have, oh, it's got the updated uh, fuel level sensor in the tank. Um, so the fuel level sensor works, no problem there. It's the updated one. It's got the updated counter shaft sprocket seal. Um, Cause I was having a little leak in there. So they gave me the updated version of that, which is nice. Um, what else did they do? Oh, it's got the updated diodes in there. Um, you know, the little electrical diodes. Um, what else? Oh, another big piece. It's got a EarthX lithium battery in there. That's 140 bucks. Saves you three or four pounds. Uh, with the updated strap, so it doesn't keep breaking. Um, it's got the battery tender, it's USB, so I'm running USB straight up to the bars right here. So here's your USB, it's an OtterBox cord, which is really cool. Uh, so you can run your RAM mount right up here and charge. Um, and all you gotta do is, you know, plug these two together. So there's your charge cord and there's your USB cord, bam. And uh, you're charging your phone all day. Um, what else? I think that's it. But like I said, all of the uh, beta little, you know, bugs that you have to work out of a new bike are done. Um, it's got the, uh, a little seal in the front of the case that was dripping. They, they updated that, put a new one in there. Uh, like I said, brand new clutch. It doesn't even have any time on it yet. And brand new oil pump gears, brand new gasket in the side case right here. Um, what else? I mean, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. The only thing I could use is maybe some new tires soon. But that Shinko 216 is a great tire. And the 505 Cheater still has a little meat on it. Gummy, so it still keeps hooking up. And the tubeless is freaking awesome. Best mod I ever did to my bike. Oh yeah, it's got brand new brake pads on it too. I just put brand new brake pads on it recently. Uh, probably two months ago. And they're the, I believe they're the EVC centered, whatever the best ones are. Uh, new chain, like I said, new sprockets. I mean, everything you need, fresh coolant in it, everything. I put the zip tie around here so you don't have to worry about that plug backing out sometimes with vibration like has happened in the past. Uh, Scott's dampener, brand new. You know, I bought the bike, you know, just a year ago. And so everything that's on the bike, bought for the bike has all happened you know, since last January. Uh, so all the parts are pretty new considering yeah, it's a bitchin' bike. The more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, why do I want to try something else? But yeah, like I said, all ready to go. Everything you'd ever need with oil, with filters, extra parts, extra hand guards, extra sprockets, extra suspension springs. Set it up just the way you like. Brand new plastic, so you could run a different look if you'd like. I'll uh, put some pictures of the in the ad of it with that plastic on. It'll look pretty freaking cool. Uh, stock bars, I mean... OB linkage guard, full street legal setup. If you want to slap that back on, I'd do it for you if you wanted it done. Everything you need. Super, super bitchin' bike. Here's the stock toolkit complete. I'll even throw in the, uh, the accessory box, one of those Costco big bins, so you can have all your stuff in there. Uh, yeah. How much more do you need? maintenance file for the bike um, you know I document every single thing that I do to the bike um, you know here's where I bought it uh, the 4th of January 2018 I did my first oil filter motor trans change at six hours goes on and on every oil filter change every time I service the forks I service the forks three times change the fluid um, that's all documented here adjust the valves every oh what did I do it at 100 hours and then the next 100 hours I adjusted the valves it didn't never even took valve adjustment um, and that's another thing I'll throw in with the bike is the, uh, the Pro X uh, valve shim kit which is 80 bucks um, I mean everything you'd want to see um, every time the oil is changed every time I put new tires on it um, you know with the hours and the mileage every time I service the forks you know here's 260 hours, greased all the linkage, cleaned the throttle body, installed a new shock spring, what springs on it, fork springs, you know, what oil I use in the forks. Uh, every time I flush the coolant, this was two nights ago, here was uh, the new OEM clutch, new oil pump gears, new side case gasket, um, change the trans fluid, flush the coolant, has new coolant in it. Um, so it just goes on and on.
on. I'm big on documenting this with all my cars and projects and stuff like that. I think that is valuable for whoever the next owner might be. It goes a long way. Uh, but yeah, little custom tidbits, Italian flags, big fan, Ferrari, my favorite. Here. See the bottom line right there, about 11.3, I paid for the bike, and I added a bunch of stuff, oversized tanks and things like that. Uh, so I got all the original paperwork here. Holder. The other thing I forgot to mention, and like I said, this folder has all your receipts for every part, slavings, and all the crap I bought for it. Um, it goes on and on and on. Um, you know, all the, the manuals for things like the foot pegs and little headlight and all that kind of stuff. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention is I just renewed registration so yeah January 2020 it's ready to go but you start thinking about you know buying one new you know so you pay 11.3 and then you got your registration you have to pay and tax from a dealer and all that other stuff um, and then you got to get it right and get it the way you want it. Suspension, you know, steering stabilizers, pipes, I mean, all these type of things, they add up. I mean, I'd say I probably have, pff, my wife think, listening, probably, uh, I don't know, 15 grand in this bike, I guess, after it's all said and done. So, it's all set up. And like I said, it's a 2018, it's got some miles on it, but I baby it, and it's a 500, so you're never revving this thing out. You know, like I said, after... You know, 7,700 miles, the oil pump gears looked brand freaking new. And I changed the oil, you know, religiously every 30 hours. Make sure valves are in adjustment. Uh, flush coolant all the time. Service the forks all the time with fresh fluid in them. I mean, it's really, really dialed. So, hope you like it. C-Concept seat's pretty sweet. That's 350 bucks right there. Damn, I spent too much money on this bike. Our stock exhaust, stock header, excellent condition, no dents, no, oops, no dents, a couple little scrapers there, no big deal. Let's fire this thing up real quick. Sounds beefy. That's a sweet bike right there. As Jeff Slavens would say, that's all for now.